Oh, poor birdie. It seems to be suffering from a disease called bird flu. What's that? Hmm, that's a pretty important question, little kitty. As this disease is once again spreading its wings across many regions, especially in the subcontinent. Hey friends, so in today's episode, let us learn about this lesser known pandemic and answer a crucial question. What is bird flu? Zoom in! So, what is bird flu? Bird flu, also known as avian influenza or H5N1, refers to a highly contagious infection of birds caused by influenza type A viruses. These viruses occur naturally among aquatic and migratory birds, which can spread in other birds and animal species. Yes, when the wild aquatic birds get infected with influenza A, they carry these viruses in their intestines and respiratory tract that can shed through their saliva and feces. And when domesticated birds like chickens, ducks and turkey come in contact with these infected droppings, the viruses take this opportunity to jump into the new host, eventually making them sick. But the future of the infected bird depends upon the type of virus they have been infected with. Yes, avian influenza A viruses are classified into two categories, namely low pathogenic avian influenza or LPAI A viruses and highly pathogenic avian influenza HPAI A viruses. Infection of poultry animals with LPAI viruses may cause no disease or mild illness and may only cause mild signs such as ruffled feathers and a drop in egg production and in some cases may not be detected. However, an infection caused by HPAI viruses can lead to severe diseases and can be fatal for these hapless birdies. I know what you are thinking. Can it affect humans too? Well, bird flu is a zoonotic disease, meaning it can spread from animals to humans and human infections with bird flu viruses can happen when enough virus gets into the person's eyes, nose or mouth. This can occur when the virus is in the air or dust and a person inhales it or when a person touches something that has the virus on it then touches their mouth, eyes or nose. But fortunately, there have been only a few cases of human-to-human -human transmission. And as long as the bird flu virus doesn't change into a human flu virus, it won't spread far in people. But sometimes, after close personal contact, a person who gets bird flu does infect another person. So, it is essential to be aware of its symptoms to identify and prevent this flu from spreading. And what are the symptoms? Well, a person suffering from bird flu may show symptoms like fever, cough, sore throat and sometimes abdominal pain and diarrhea. And if left untreated, it can lead to severe respiratory illness such as pneumonia and acute respiratory syndrome. But the vital question is, how can we prevent bird flu from spreading? Well, currently, the best way to prevent bird flu viruses is by avoiding sources of exposure such as poultry farms, meat markets and other places where live poultry are raised or sold. Besides this, make sure to cook the poultry products properly. Always maintain proper hygiene by washing your hands and using a hand sanitizer. And in case you see any of the signs 
after getting in touch with a sick or dead bird, do visit your doctor ASAP. Trivia time! Did you know the first case of H5N1 was detected in Hong Kong in the year 1997? Also, in case the virus mutates and becomes easily transmissible, it can potentially cause a pandemic. And if you want to know more about how pandemics spread, do watch our video on the same topic. The link is in the description below. Hope you learned something new in today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Ah, never mind.